let's look at our new well look at my new um you know water change you know the, the, the pond has been cycling without fish in my aquaponic system let's look at how it, it is right now Hi everybody welcome again welcome again to another episode of fish keep in jamaica okay a lot of rain fell um between uh two three days a lot of rain fell overnight during the course of the day and my lettuce look as if that they are doing well right guys yeah i might end up let me know i was contemplating doing it probably within a week but what i realized is that rainfall um in addition to um you know water actually flowing i've actually propelled them in, in actually growth uh, yeah man they are growing and this is not propagating it should propagate but it's not and so i'm gonna be pulling it out i might end up um take out these lettuce i'm not a hundred percent i might take them out we might take them out yeah but these one you see how the, the, the perk up this is because the temperature of the past couple of days have been really cool so therefore they are actually rising up out of the container and you know showing signs that hey listen they can also grow large so i might end up cutting these in a sharp bit uh what interests me however is something that a lot of persons um don't really take into consideration like myself right i do not have anything over my aquaponic system uh, a lot of rain fell and as i share with you i actually did a water change clean water right what happened is that rain actually fell and actually washed some of the the arm um, the, 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 the the thing that are i call it now the old laden waste that is was in the space before it was actually used up by the plant right so the pond is looking like this still clean but the pond is looking like this now in the last video in which i did i showed you the whole idea of beneficial bacteria whether or not it will be lost because you know no fish is in it and i actually used water that was chlorine and i, I showed it you that um nothing really would happen to the beneficial bacteria um because of the the volume of, of, of chlorine that is in the water and the volume of beneficial bacteria that exists within the grow bed. Now, as a result of, you know, the, the pond being circulated, you know, the, the waste was in this and it was circulated. Um, the, the space is now good for fish. And what I'll be doing now is I'm going to actually be creating a new blue stock. Well, I have to do two because I'm going to be selling a, 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 a set of blue stock to a client. So therefore, I'm going to have to, you know, rely on another blue stock. So therefore, I will end up with two blue stock, right? So after this, I will not be selling any more fish, not even babies, until I have an established blue stock and um, you know, things will, you know, polish off themselves i had intended to use these tilapia uh, within my aquaponic system but um you know looking at the fact that i do not have a bucket filter to actually place here for the larger fish i do not want the larger fish to have problems with oxygenation the smaller fish can suffice for a bit probably about another two months Right, they will go probably about three four inches and then now with this volume I will have to put a bucket filter right so I'm thinking about that right what I've also realized is that they are actually consuming the leaves of the lady at least not much but some of it I realize that some of it is actually being chipped off right so I'm gonna be moving some fish around and um, yeah 
so everything is going on good i think i'm going to be cutting the lettuce some of them and um uh, yeah i'm going to be cutting the lettuce some of them so probably the next video you'll see me actually cutting the lettuce and packaging them for distribution or slash sale thank you very much for stopping by guys this is just an update peace out catch you next time bye bye